Hi, this is Don, and I'm going to give you a quick introduction to flying in Crash Lander. This is the vehicle you've made after crash landing on this lunar research station, and you made it out of junky old propane tanks and spare parts, so it's it's a pretty wonky craft. It's, it's kind of at the whims of gravity and uh, whatever skill you can muster with this uh, crazy control scheme. Uh, the controls were inspired by a game called Quop. Uh, if you've played Quop, you'll know what you're in for here. A little bit of frustration and a lot of goofy fun. <laughs> if you're not, I, w I would recommend looking that game up. Just QWOP into Google and you'll find it. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your keyboard is compatible with the default key setup. Because you have to press multiple keys at a time, like four keys at a time sometimes. There's six different thrusters on your craft and you have direct control of each one of them. So find the default keys, W, S, I, and J, and just press all four of those keys. And if your craft goes straight up in the air, then you're good. If it's going crooked in the, or off to the side or anything, then it most likely means your keyboard can't read those four keys at the same time. But you can try the alternate key set, which is both control and both shift keys, which do the same thing. That should work on most keyboards. There's also a fifth and sixth thruster on the side of your craft that will rotate it left and right. And that's the O and the Q keys. So you can see your fingers just kind of lay across those keys naturally if you put your middle fingers on W and I. So the basic flight technique I would describe as float and nudge. <laughs> you kind of want to get your craft floating. Tilt it the way you want to go by using just some of the thrusters. Then fire all four thrusters again to add a little four momentum. And then you just kind of want to float. Here we go over to this pad. You don't want to be firing your thrusters ahead all the time and gaining more and more speed because then you'll never be able to stop yourself in time. So you just kind of float and try to maintain your craft at a level keel. And when you get to where you're going, then you reverse yourself, tilt the other way, press all four keys and stop your craft. So that's the basic idea. The faster you go, the harder it is. But the, once you do get a hang of these controls, there you can do a lot of crazy stuff. You can barrel roll and do backflips and do all kinds of crazy sharp turns. You just have to kind of get a feel for it. Uh, if you try the uh, standard controls and they're just too frustrating or you know you don't have the mad keyboard skills that you're going to need to to fly this way, you can try the autopilot. You hit the P key. Now, instead of pressing all four of those keys, you just have to press the space bar to fire all four of your thrusters. The arrow keys will tilt your craft forward and back, or turn it left and right. So the, the controls are still wonky and a little bit difficult in autopilot, but they're much easier and should be accessible to just about anybody who wants to put in a few minutes of practice. Other keys that you'll be using, let's see, the R key is important, that restarts the level. So anytime you crash upside down or you lose a tank or you just want to start over, just hit R. You can also pause the game with escape and from there you can hit M for the main menu or X to exit the game. There's a second camera uh, up uh, view from above your craft for a different angle on where you are. There is the T key which it's kind of fun. It's just kind of some eye candy. Turns on a, a trail effect. And on the HUD up here, you should see. Oops. On the HUD, on the upper left, is a circular area with an LED, and that shows you the direction to the next pad. So uh, the game does have some goals beyond goofing around and having fun. Uh, you need to find these three landing pads with the red lights and land on them to activate them and once you've landed on those three the final pad will activate you can land on that to win the level and get your final time on the HUD also you'll see these LED lights that show you which pad you've landed on there's an altimeter that shows you how far above the ground you are and if there's something below you that you can uh, either hit or run into or land on 
and there's also a velocity indicator and whether or not your autopilot's on. So, yeah, I think that covers the basics. Um, please do give the default controls a try, even though I might have scared you away by saying how hard they are. They're a lot of fun after you get used to them, and basically that's kind of the point of the game is just to learn how to fly this thing and then just goof around with it. So do that and uh, let me know what you think. Go to crashlander.com, uh, leave me some feedback with ideas for the game or what you might change, what you liked about it, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'm still working on this game quite a bit. There'll be lots of new stuff to come in the near future. So thanks a lot and I will talk to you later.